Well, the Greater Lafayette Hunger Hike is now just over a week away. Lafayette Urban Ministries Director of Social Justice, Patty O'Callaghan, joins us along with Tracy Rosa of Adelino's Restaurant in Lafayette, which is taking part in this year's Dine Downtown event next week. Hey, guys, thanks for coming in. Patty, oh, thanks for having us. You. Thanks for coming uh-huh. in today. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the uh, actual hunger hike starts on uh, Sunday afternoon, September 20th, so exactly. we're just over a week away. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we're, are you expecting to happen? Oh, we're, we're expecting a thousand participants this year. That's what, what our goal is, to try and get everybody to come out and do a little bit to help. Now, the uh, Bison Financial Services and Lafayette Urban Ministry organize this every exactly. year. Where do the funds wind up, though? The funds go to the food programs of Lafayette Urban Ministry, Food Finders Food Bank, and St. Tom's Haiti Project. And how does it work? Uh, people show up. You don't necessarily need pre-registration, right? Exactly. Um, we do have registration forms out around the, uh, around the town, and people can go online, www.hungerhike.org, and, and download a registration form if they, if they want, and, and go out and get sponsors. We have, they can even do fundraising pages, and then you can email to all your friends and, and relatives all over the country to help, uh, help support uh, food programs. Such an important issue. And food raising money for food, uh, Tracy, food. and that's where Adelino's comes in. You, you guys exactly. opened, what, six or eight months ago, right? Uh, we actually opened up in June, the beginning June. of June. Okay. Correct. How have things been going? Things have been going fantastic. We've been, uh, everybody who's come in so far has gotten to the feel of what tapas style is about, which is a little bit different for, for Lafayette, yeah. you know, but uh, the, the food is great. The, the sangria is out of this world, and, and we're, we're just really happy to be a part of, of this event, along with a lot of other fundraising events coming up in the, in the next couple of months. So how does that's dine, important to us. How does Dine Downtown work, uh, Tracy, and why did Adelino's decide to be part of it? Um, basically, the way that it works, and with the weather forecast for rain Monday through Thursday, we don't get rained out inside the restaurant. There you go. So, you know, where, where there's always the possibility on the hike part of, of having problems. Mm-hmm. But basically, People just come on in and, and have dinner with us, and 10% of those proceeds are going directly to, to the hunger hike, and it's, it's just a win-win situation. That's really why we wanted to get involved with it. It gets people into our place who normally may not try it, but they know it's for a good cause. They may be skeptical about what Mediterranean tapas is about. And at the same time, we're able to help somebody out here who really needs it. There you go. And, Patty, what are the other restaurants involved? Yeah, we have six restaurants. We're really glad to have B1 and Bistro 501, uh, La Scala, Adelino's, Bluefin Bistro, and... Spurlock. Spurlock. So as uh, Jeff was here last year, uh, the one of the original Dine Downtown charter members. So down, Dine Downtown goes from the 14th through the 17th at those six restaurants in downtown Lafayette. And Hunker Hike itself, uh, registration is from 1230 to 130 on Sunday the 20th. And the, the uh, two-mile hike gets underway at 2 o'clock. Exactly. Okay, mm-hmm. guys, thanks so much for coming in.